What is up, all my dumpster peeps? How in the heck are you guys? It is a weekend night, yet again, that I normally work, and I'm not at work. It was a really long, drawn out story, but we're gonna shorten it up for y'all just a little bit. I went into work the other night, and the new owner, air quotes, owner, okay? Just remember I did that. <laughs> Decided that he's resigning as an owner. Mm-hmm. Yep, he sure did. So, we're all like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> like, I didn't know you could resign as an owner. Well, a bunch of stuff happened. I, I'm not going to get into the legalities of it, but we're just going to say stuff did not get done as it should have when you're taking over a business. Okay? So, due to that, my old boss that passed away, his brother did not like the way that this whole deal went down. Oh, there's an ambulance behind me. I need to pull over if he's coming this way. Which way is he coming? Oh, okay, he's going straight. Um, and, he, and he shouldn't have liked it because it was shady the way things went down, okay? But that's none of my business here or there. But in the long run, it screwed us because he didn't do things the correct way. Both of them, the new owner and our old owner. They didn't take care of things the correct way. Now, granted, my boss had ALS. And by the time that the new boss, the new owner was going to take over, my old boss was so sick, just so sick and so weak and you know it, it, it just it just wasn't good okay so long story short or short story long now he decided to resign last Wednesday when I walked into work he like he had a meeting with everybody that worked that day as soon as they came in now there's another reason too I don't want to just make it seem like he's being an a-hole because he's not he also let me know that his wife has uh, multiple myeloma cancer which is like a blood cancer and the cancer like they're getting it under control she's going to radiation or whatever you do for it but it's that therapy that you know to kill the cancer is just taking it out of her and she needs him to be at home to help her out which I totally get that's your number one forget about the restaurant sorry I always forget my windows down like forget about the bar the restaurant like that's your wife that's where you need to be I didn't know she had cancer until he told me I had no idea so I was I told him I was like listen I I would do the same thing I can't blame you but it just sucks because like what does that do for us like where does that leave us I don't know so <clears throat> right now everything is like in an estate for my boss like and his brother is the one that is in control of the estate so I I think we're okay for like the next month like the month of September we at least know we have a job for then but I don't know what's going to happen after that but because the owner quit, he was um, our daylight cook so that the other guys in the kitchen could all get one day off because they're all, we only have three cooks. That's it. And with the owner, the new owner, we had four so that he could at least give each guy a day off each week now those guys don't have any days off and they are working double shifts every day like they're just they are just exhausted and I can't blame them like that's that's hard that is in that heat in that kitchen oh I couldn't do it so 
in order to give them days off, we had to close two days this, this week and next week. And one of those is my nights and it just happens to be one of the nights I make like the most money. <laughs> so yeah, that burns my biscuits a little bit, but at the same time, I'm not upset because I know those cooks deserve their nights off and they bust their butts for us girls. Like they do so much for us. So I completely agree with them doing what they're doing. It just sucks for me because, you know, like I said, but what can you do? So that being said, I was off today and my girls are in cheer now. So there was a game and at first I was like, I'm not going to be able to go to like half their games because it's on this day of the week that I work. But since I was off today, I was like, great, I'm going to take them to their game. It'll be so much fun. It rained. <laughs> they canceled. So, yeah, that's us. I was so excited. The girls were so excited. They're like, you're going to get to see our dance. No, I'm not. <laughs> Poor peanuts. But it's okay. Um, because I will be able to watch the next game. I think the next two games, possibly. I don't know. And shoot, I might be able to watch them all if I don't have a job. <laughs> it just sucks because I really, I love my job. Like you, there's not many people in this world that can honestly, 100% without a doubt, say I love my job. I love my job. My husband has told me a million times to quit. He's like, you don't need it anymore. You can quit. You can focus on YouTube. I'm like, I don't want to do that. I love my job. I love what I do. I really, truly do. I, I do. I love it. So, oh well. We'll see what happens. I'll keep you guys updated. But, um, because I'm off, we're going dumpster diving. That's the whole point of this story. <laughs> Seven minutes later. Lord. So, are you guys excited? Because I am super excited. I brought rain boots. I bought, I bought, I brought a sweatshirt. I still can't talk. <laughs> Nothing chalk in there. Um, I'm on my way to pick up Beth. And we're going to go dive on in some dang dumpsters. Because that makes me feel better when I'm in a bad mood. So, that's what we're doing. I don't think we're going to get stung by any wasps today. Because it's raining out. So, there's a plus. Listen, my finger was swollen for like three dang days, okay? And I know it's just a freaking wasp, but my finger hurt. <laughs> but anyway, we're almost there. Let's go pick up Miss Beth and let's get to these dang dumpsters and see what in the world they got for us tonight. Hey guys, home goods. Is there any goods in the dumpster? Oh, am I in park? Yes, I am. <laughs> For work that planner's cute too yeah i think i can totally fix oh, it oh yeah definitely you can just glue it Yeah. <laughs> 
to the next. All right, guys, Dollar General number one. Inside. Good thing Beth caught that. All right, on to the next. All right, guys. Dollar General number two. Let's see if there's any spider webs. Oh, I should have brought the light. Oh, it's empty. Oh, God, I just got food. It went in my mouth. The smell went right in my mouth, guys. Oh, man. <laughs> That's gross. So, we are on to another few Dollar Generals, and then we're probably going to have to head to a couple different towns. Um, we might go to, like, a way far away town, because it's only 8.30, and we really don't have much. So, I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully, we start finding stuff, but... Another Dollar General, it's open, so it might be empty. those whenever I'm donating everything we always need totes so that is Ami's balls on to the next Dollar General some stuff in it. I don't even know what else is in it. There was like pop tarts <laughs> yeah. and stuff. A, oh look. Oh my god that's adorable. Yeah. Let me show you guys. <laughs> look how cute that is. Put your candy in it. Put your candy in it. That way you don't have to even like have anybody like your kids touch the candy dish you know. Pretty smart. Some veggie straws, some M&M's, almond. Nice. I like m and almonds. Alright. So, nice. I guess those blue totes were on the penny list, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna head to another town now. Fingers crossed we find some more stuff. And if we don't, then we're probably gonna head to a way further out town. I'm just, I'm not sure, but I'm thinking because it's only nine o'clock. All right, guys, so listen, we have not been having good luck 
at all. Like, I mean, we got a little bit of stuff. I'm not trying to be like, oh, we didn't get anything. We did get some stuff, but not very much. Like, you know, not like our usual stuff. So we came out to this Dollar General, which is the one where we got the bags on bags on bags of cookies. And every time we come to this one, before we come, I stop and get a milkshake. And I think the milkshakes are good luck. <laughs> because you now he's going to the store. <laughs> like, no. That's like, mm. where's that car going? It better not be going to our dumpster. Okay, yeah, he's good. So um, that dumpster's loaded. Yay! And we just have to wait for them to close. So we're going to sit here and drink our milkshakes. <laughs> and then I'm going to complain that I can't go fast and get in, <laughs> in and out of the dumpster with my fat gut. But that's okay. So, as soon as they uh, decide to leave, it's already 10 o'clock, so they have to be leaving soon. As soon as they leave, then we're gonna make our way over there and just wait till you see what's in that dumpster. Dang, are you ready to see what's in the dumpster? Any guesses? Any guesses? I don't even really know what was in it, cause I everything, just- Everything, a little bit of everything. Spider yeah. web right there. Why? <laughs> Every side you go to get on. Ooh. Look at this, guys. Ooh, it's there is so stuff. much stuff and bags so, cool. so many air fresheners and candy oh <gasps> mentos gum <laughs> i was just gonna buy air fresheners too look we all we're gonna get some new air fresheners there was a pair of shoes but they can't be from here because they're vans they're vans that's weird all right well i guess i gotta get in on this side there's melted chocolate out here Oh my god, that touched my hand again and I got scared. Jesus, it's like fishing wire. Oh look, there's a clapper hand stuck to <laughs> Clap on. Clap off. It's the clapper. Oh, you know what I forgot? A bag. <laughs> oh yeah. I guess that would be helpful, huh? Or a tote. Oh yeah. What is this? Oh, it's a cell phone card holder. Yeah, buddy. We got these little auto vent sticks. Did I miss that huge thing? Oh, you got it. Okay. Oh, look at mini M&Ms. Look at all the Airheads gum. It's just that whole pack. A whole thing of Airheads gum. I guess I'm gonna Oh, get look it. at all the beef jerky. I don't think that stuff would go bad. No, that stuff lasts forever. There's masks or something. Oh, sinking to the bottom. Oh yeah, that's a lot of Slim Jims. All kinds of goodies, planners, nuts, and chocolate. More of those phone card cases, those are neat. I need one of those. Pistachios, the shelled kind, I think. What M&Ms are these? Are those the almonds? Orange vanilla cream. Mm. <laughs> that's, that's why they're here. <laughs> that's definitely why they're here. Little tags. There's, there's Bag a, tag. There was a rainbow one too. Cream. Lots of milk down there. Oh look. Oh, that's cute. A runner. Yep. Yeah, these vans are kind of. Yeah, that's weird. Busted. All right. More M&Ms. What are these? Oh, these are the almond oh, the ones. the big almond bars. Sweet. So many M&Ms. There's in there or something. Oh, I see. Like, these little air fresheners. Like the glaze hand you plug in. I see they're so I put my dang rain boots on. Mini garden beach gnome. <laughs> oh oh no. my god. Oh crap. No freaking way. It's the whole bag. Oh, there's ground beef in and here. And there goes lights again. <laughs> there's oh, there's pans. We found leggings at the last one too. Some Windex. window cleaner. Oh, 
<laughs> What'd you do? <laughs> it squirted everywhere. <laughs> My bad. All right, I'm just gonna do the whole bag. I can't believe they threw out freaking toilet paper. That just makes my like, day. Why would they throw out air fresheners? Like what, why? They like, must not be carrying them anymore. That's my guess. There's or all, they're on the penny list. That could be, cause there's all kinds of air fresheners in there. Is that this? a blanket? I don't think this is, is this new? Like a new blanket? It might be. Yes, yes it is. It is. Okay, out so we don't get everything wet. I'm just standing on gallons and gallons of milk. Ugh. I can't believe how good Ow. your hair looks. <laughs> <laughs> and the humidity, mine's everywhere. It's that shampoo, man. I got me some good shampoo for my frizzy afro. And it actually works. I did not want to spend $60 on shampoo, but... I guess it's, it's worth, worth it. it. Yeah, definitely. I don't know what that is. There's so many. I think I see soap. Oh God, it must fell. Nope, one of those things. Yeah, I saw that. So much hair brush now. Ugh. I'm not sitting in the dumpster. I'm just not bending over because of my back. Oof, the milk is so bloated. Yeah. Ew, I don't even want to know what that is. Yeah. Okay. It's about good. Right. There's like a green puddle under the dumpster. Oh, I know. I've seen that too. Yeah, that's a nasty looking puddle, man. I know, is it? 15 bucks for that blanket. Ooh, this is the kind my mom uses because she has a septic tank. Oh, take her home. I just bought toilet paper. What else? It's mostly garbage, but here's some clothes. Nice. Saw, so, oh, v neck shirt. Pen. Pen. Paint brushes, again. We are forever finding paint brushes. So, Velveeta cookies. Thank you, Dollar General employees. Nice. We got a whole tote almost filled. Got it? Yep. <laughs> we got a faux fur blankie. And I got a shoe full of water. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. It was the milkshakes, guys. See the milkshakes? <laughs> yeah. The milkshakes are good luck. I'm going to just keep telling myself that. So when whenever I'm 400 pounds, we know why. <laughs> All right, guys, on to the next. Now I'm excited. I was <laughs> uh, getting tired and all sad. Now I'm pumped up. Now oh, it could be this milkshake too. I'm <laughs> chugging it. All the Oreo cookies I just took to the face. We're at CVS. I think we got some Snickers and we got a little chandelier thing. It's pretty. <laughs> Why is it in Ooh, it's heavy. Why is that in here? It's from Ross. It's even a big old bag of candy. I was gonna say, I thought it was a big bag of candy. I think that's it. Yeah, I didn't see anything else but that. That thing's cute. That's really cute. That thing is so cool. Who threw that away? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why they would have thrown it away. It doesn't look like it's ever, oh, maybe it had a candle in it, but it doesn't look like it's really used. Wow. That would be cool for Halloween. Next to you. What is up, all my dumpster peeps? Welcome to the full reveal, which I know you can't see right now. Don't worry, you're gonna see it. Just give me a minute. So, of course, I went to my P.O. box today. And of course, I got stuff again. So before I show you all the cool things we got at the dumpsters last night, I wanna share opening the things I got with you guys. That way I can say thank you to the people that sent them. The first one is from Miss Darlene Sears and Stacy Sears. Dear Shannon and Beth, hi, how are you doing these days? Dumpster diving, right? Yes, girl, you know it. Well, I just want to tell you that you're doing a good job of grabbing good things out of the dumpsters. 
Thank you. My daughter and myself enjoy watching you on YouTube. You have two beautiful girls and a cute dog. We just wish we could join you on doing what you are doing. We do watch you. It gets our bodies wanting to do what you are doing, but we do not drive. Only if you could come and use us, we could help you on getting the things out of the dumpsters. Aw, thank you, ladies. And if you don't want something, ship it our way. <laughs> Did you like what we made you, the girls, and Beth? Yes, the keychains. I absolutely did. Um, I don't think you guys are from Pittsburgh, though, are you? No, you're in New York, sweetie. So <laughs> I don't think I can come to New York and drive and get you. <laughs> but maybe if you're in Pittsburgh one time, we'll take you dumpster diving with us. Thank you so much for the sweet letter. Next, we have Karen Selzar. I'm thinking that's what it is. <laughs> oh my goodness. What did she send? <laughs> I'm a hot mess. <laughs> I love it. That is so cute. Hey Shannon, or should I call you a hot mess express? Yes, you should. <laughs> You are such an awesome person for all you do. I've been a fan of yours and Beth's from day one. So this shirt was purchased last week at a yard sale and it cost me all of $1. <laughs> I wore it two times and said, nope, gotta send this to my girl Shannon. Enjoy, keep up the good work and keep laughing and smiling. XOXO Karen. Thank you so much, Karen. This is too stinking cute. I love it. <laughs> you guys are so nice. I love all of you, seriously. Okay, next, we have another box. And it's from Amazon. So who do you think that's from? Any guesses? <laughs> Miss Becca England, of course. That girl, she likes her shopping. I'm gonna tell you that. She really likes to shop. <laughs> Ooh, more mini boxes of cereal. Yay. Frosted mini wheats, raisin bran, and apple jacks. And there's two big boxes of this. Miss Becca, thank you so very much. I truly appreciate it. And actually, Miss Tara was just here. Miss Tara and I have been talking, and I was like, you know, I think the subscribers would truly love to hear from you and hear about kind of the behind the scenes and like what you do for me and how much it helps. And she was like, I think that's a great idea. And then this way you guys get to meet Miss Tara. So I'm not gonna include it in this video because it's already gonna be long enough, but be on the lookout in the next few days for a video that is just me talking to you guys and introducing Miss Tara. Um, she sent me some video clips, so I'm gonna add them in, I'm gonna edit them up. I mean, I'm not gonna edit a ton, just shorten it up a little bit. And I will put it up for you guys, and you guys get to meet Miss Tara, and you get to see a little of the behind the scenes action. I thought you guys would enjoy that. And also to the people that send the items to donate, I figured you guys would also like to see, you know, that they are being picked up. They are going to help the people that I'm saying. Every single week we are giving her so much and these places are depending on us now. Like every single week they expect us to be bringing the amount of food and drinks that we're bringing them. And I love that. I love that they are using every single thing that we're giving them. It just, it just makes me so, so happy. So. Anyway, I'm going to try and have that video up for you guys within like the next day or two. So be on the lookout for that. You guys seen me and Beth went to the dumpsters. We didn't get a ton of stuff like we normally would. But it also wasn't one of our normal days going to the dumpster like I told you guys in the opening of this video. Because it was a day I'm normally at work. But we still did score a lot of cute stuff and a lot of stuff we can donate. So that's always a plus. And, oh my word, we got stuff out of home goods. I was so excited. Beth found this adorable pumpkin. Look at how cute this thing is, guys. And it lights up. It just needs some batteries and there's little twinkle lights in there. It'll light up. How stinking cute is that? There is just a little chip over here, but you can barely even tell. So just put that side to the back, you're good to go. So that is going to Miss Beth. 
And then I also grabbed this out, which I think is like a, a plant stand. I don't know. I think that's what it is. I couldn't find any other parts to it in the dumpster. That's all that was there, so. And then we also found this, which is supposed to be a two-tiered basket like this. But I was thinking, why don't I just leave it like this and I can hang bananas from here and put apples and oranges in here? Ha! Huh. I know, right? Sometimes I scare myself. <laughs> I was like, all right, Shannon, using your nugget. <laughs> Then we went to um, Joanne Fabrics, and inside a bag, I found a brand new green canteen, you know, keep your drink cold type thing. And inside was the little piece that broke off, so I can fix that. Just snaps right back in, and the lid is fixed. Got some twinkle lights, a B stamp, some white clay. I have no idea what this stuff is. It's like transfer paper or something. I don't know, you guys will probably know. You crafters out there. And then we got two um, Gildan extra large men's long sleeve white t-shirts. Those would be, they have a little bit of paint on them, so they would be great for like to tie dye a shirt, you know? And then lastly, out of Joann's, we got this um, shadow box frame. It's a 14 by 17, and it has all these little push pins. I always think these are so cute, and you can do so much with these. I like put it above your desk and just use the little pins for like post-it notes of like things to do and errands you need to run, whatever. The options are endless, so. I don't know. I might keep that because I am going to be redoing my office now that I cleared it all out. <laughs> so I might keep that. I'm not sure yet. If not, I'll donate it. Where did we go next? Oh, then we went to the abundance of Dollar Generals. Now, we got six of the blue totes out of one dumpster. Then we went to a different dumpster and found the same blue tote, but it was actually filled with the goodies in it. So I'm gonna slide over and we're gonna show you everything we got from that Dollar General. Right. I'm just gonna show you guys this way because it's much easier and faster for me and I don't have to sit down and my legs don't go numb. <laughs> so we got a monthly planner, it doesn't have a year in it. We got a whole package of washcloths. You guys, of course, seen this in the car. How stinking cute is that? It's missing the end of the handle, but who cares? You could totally still use it. We got a drop cloth, three boxes of Clover Valley blueberry toaster pastries, two bags of screaming hot veggie straws, one box of granola bars. We also got a bunch of bugs in here. We got the little funnel three pack, a Dr. Pepper. And that's all that was in one of those totes. Then we went to another Dollar General and we got two boxes of oatmeal cream pies, five bottles of the Aussie Mo <laughs> Miracle Moist or Moist Miracle, I don't know, whatever, conditioner, and a whole bunch of napkins oh we got the boxers out of ollie's you guys didn't see that because that's all that was in there and we also got that fan from home goods but it is broken i have to see if i can fix it then you guys seen that we went to the last dollar general and oh my goodness did you see that dumpster straight crazy this was all just laying right on the top of the dumpster just tossed it in like eh throwing it away don't need it we got a ton of these bag tags which I figured we could donate to the kiddos in the school district and if they don't want to write their names on their book bags they could use this bag tag and that way they don't mark up their book bags huh we got some pens three bottles of Mentos gum, five, what are these, <laughs> lifesavers, no, icebreakers, sours, a ton of Airheads gum, a ton of hot and spicy original and pepperoni huge Slim Jims, or like Jack 
planks, they call them. Some Velveeta breakfast cookies, one paintbrush, <laughs> a ton of the mini M&Ms, and the larger size M&Ms. Still minis, right? Yeah, they're still minis. Huge pile of these planners, nuts and chocolate trail mix. We also got five bags of the honey roasted pistachios. A big old box of M&M's almond bars. Huge pile of M&M's orange vanilla cream. I'm sorry, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> one fairy, one gnome. A bunch of these cell phone card pockets, which I'm gonna ask Beth which one she wants, either the multicolored or the black, white, and silver, because she said she wanted one. <laughs> and the rest will get donated. There's like seven or eight of them over there. We got four of these Refresh Your Car um, plugins, three of the Refresh Scented Gel Can, and a ton of the Refresh Auto Vent Sticks. We have Summer Breeze and Alpine Meadow, a bunch of those, and a bunch of the New Car and Cold Breeze scent. So they must be getting rid of the Refresh brand, or maybe they're coming out with new um, packaging, or it was just all on the penny list, that's why they threw it. We got a ton of these scarves, or you could use them as masks, you could use them as headbands, ponytail holders. We also got a bunch of adult face masks, got one child's unicorn mask, package that is not even opened literally the only thing wrong with it is the top got ripped off so they couldn't hang it on the pegboard so that's why they threw this away is that not crazy to you because it's crazy to me anyway there are three v-neck size small shirts women's sleep pants oh we also got the blanket and the autumn blessings runner i did wash them because they smelt like something died on them <laughs> And lastly, we got the Super Soft 2XL leggings. And of course, all those totes and one lid. And then lastly, we went to a CVS dumpster and we found this. I could not believe we found this in the CVS dumpster. Who throws this away? There is nothing wrong with it. And this is like, I really like this. <laughs> I thought this would look so cute for like Halloween, like to make it look spooky and put like black candles in it. You know what I mean? I don't know how much Ross was selling it for. It was on clearance for $2 and they threw it in the dang dumpster. Who would buy this and then throw it in the dumpster? <laughs> I'm so mad about that. Donate it. Anyway, we also got some D3 Bone Health dietary supplement and lastly from that dumpster oh we got a huge grab bag i'm gonna show you guys at the same time i look and let's see what's in it we got whoa how about that it is a covid19 self-test i can't believe they threw that away that's crazy to me but they did oh those pretzels are open sadly those are garbage Oh, Snickers peanut brownie squares. That has my name written all over it. <laughs> and Beth's. Three, four, five, six of those. Two of the Reese's dark miniature cups, dark chocolate. One miniature regular cup. One can of insect repellent. Some um, baby lips lip gloss. Oh, we got a couple of those. We got a round brush, never used, no hair in it, brand spanking new. A digital thermometer. Those are expensive as all heck. Oh my word. That is gonna be a great donation for the Women and Children's Center. A another brush, brand new, never used. Some Dream Radiant Liquid Maybelline Foundation. And then lastly, we got, what in the world is this? What is that, a fox <laughs> or a squirrel? A fox eating corn on the cob. I don't know, that kind of freaks me out. Like, it kind of looks like a superhero. I don't know why they did that, but he's missing his other foot. So, 
have to just cut the other one off and it, you could still use it and decorate with it, you know? And what else? Ooh, some Olay Regenerist Micro Sculpting Cream. Is this to like help with wrinkles? Because if it is, I'm probably going to keep it. <laughs> just saying. Um, illuminating foundation. And another chapstick. And that, my friends, is everything. So that is going to do it, guys, for this video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with Beth and I at the dumpsters and me today in the reveal. I know it wasn't our typical huge type of haul, but that's okay. Because Beth and I will be going out at least two more times this week. And I have a feeling we're probably going to hit it big again. That being said, that is going to do it for this video. But please be on the look for the next video that I'll be having, that I will be having. <laughs> what? That I will be uploading. Shoot. <laughs> I was going to say soon and shortly and it came out short. I don't know. Whatever. Okay that I will be uploading shortly for you guys to give you a behind the scenes look of what Tara does and how much she helps me and how amazing she is. So be on the lookout for that guys. And I of course will talk to you all in those comments down below. And until next time, happy diving. Bye. You know that I'm a keep it cool. With you I feel like breaking rules. Only edge looking out with no parachute. You know I'm dreaming about